you shy, but I know you a freak, little baby. Everything you do is amazing. Ain't nobody got to go crazy. I got what you need. Everybody think you shy, but I know you a freak, little baby. Hey guys, it is Erica back again with another video. Another video. Hey, another video. Anyways, today we are doing taco samosas. Um, you will need hamburger meat. I do have two different cheeses because one you're actually putting in the meat and the other one is going on your tortilla. I have Mexican four cheese, Monterey Jack, cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and asadero cheeses. I also have provolone, the tortillas of course. You will need cream cheese, salsa, as well as taco seasoning mix. And we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and let our meat brown. I'm quite sure everybody knows how to make the basics of tacos. Um, we're gonna add some of our Mexican four cheese in as soon as the meat browns, as well as our taco seasoning mix. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and wait for it to be done. So as you guys can see, I've started adding my taco seasoning mix into the meat. I drained off all of my fat, or at least as much as I could. I do like to add extra taco seasoning meat just to make sure I have that taco seasoning taste all over my meat. We're just gonna do a good stir just to make sure. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our cheese in. You can totally use whatever kind of cheese it is that you want to use. It is so up to you, but we decided to get the Mexican four cheese. If I can get the bag open. We're just going to add in a little bit of that. I'm going to add in one fourth cup of salsa. And our cream cheese. And I'm going to add in four ounces of cream cheese. I am going to add a little bit more salsa. Your preference, your preference. Mix it all together. Cream cheese is really like was giving me a hard time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Add more cream cheese. So the hubby is telling me to add in how much? <laughs> a little bit more. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more. Add in some more salsa. I'm gonna add in a little bit more salsa. <laughs> this is looking good though. And I've never made these. I saw this recipe and just decided to try it so this is actually a first timer whoop, whoop. i love new food new taste new things to you know get a feel for eating something different trying new things this looks really good already Get a little close on that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is beauty right there. Now, adding a little bit more 
cheese. I feel like I want to add in a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit. Okay, so the next step that you're going to want to do is I'm just going to cut four tortillas at a time. And I got four pieces of provolone. We're going to add the extra pieces of provolone inside the pockets. So I have my bread knife here and I'm just going to line these up and I'm just going to cut them straight down the middle. And we're gonna do the cheese the same way and voila so then we're gonna do one at a time i got some flour and water mixed here as a paste and i'm just gonna dip this here and go around the edges and this just helps the tortilla bread stick I want to add that. Okay, in. so now that we have it where we have the flour and the paste all over the edges, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold it in a triangular, triangular way. And we're going to take this and fold it right on top and give it a good press so that the the paste is definitely on there. Actually, I'm gonna close that up a little bit more at the top. And if you feel, you know, it's not sticking, just go ahead and add some more paste. I literally just mix flour and water together. So after you folded your bread, you wanna leave that little pocket open and this is where we're gonna put the meat at. So we're gonna come over here. I got my fire on really low. So I can keep my meat nice and hot. Now you don't want to overfill these too much because we do have to seal them. So I'm going to pack that in there nice and tight. And then I'm going to add a little bit more so that it gets a good little seal on it. We're going to close it up just like so. I feel like these are big. Push that in there. Ooh, look at the little juices. Okay. So here we have our first one already made. We did have to take a fork to go along the edges just to secure it and make sure that it stick pretty good. Oh, baby, kind of trying to drip a little bit. Let me get it. So our first one is made. And I have some oil over here that is already preheating, but I'm going to put them all in there at the same time. So I'm gonna set that one to the side and you just repeat until you feel as though you have enough. Now this was a different day that I did the same recipe, but this time I had the right stuff. There you see cornstarch and water mixed in together and we're doing the same process going around the whole entire tortilla just to make sure that it's gonna stick. As you can see, we are doing the same process, making sure that all sides are sticking. You wanna also leave that hole where the meat is going to be placed. And you wanna make sure you don't have any yaps, so make sure you go ahead and get those little open areas up in there. You can make your cornstarch and water thicker, but I had mine a little watery. I didn't want it too thick, but it's definitely your preference. So as you can see here, I definitely did not drain my meat. The first time I did this, I drained it, but this time I was hungry and ready to get down to business. So I would definitely recommend draining it because it does affect the tortilla and it will start leaking from the bottom, but it won't taste no difference. So do you, honey, do you.
As you can see, being the perfectionist that I am, I did go over my tortilla a few times just to make sure that it's stuck. When I see recipes and I do them, I make sure that I try to get it as close as possible to the actual recipe. You don't have to go over it this many times. It's definitely up to you. Um, I did use my handy dandy fork and the fork actually really helps with applying pressure. So if you're having a hard time, I would definitely recommend the fork method. And yeah. already I'm gonna wait till your tortillas turn a light brown that's how you'll know when they are fully done and we're gonna let these cook for a few minutes on this side and then we're gonna flip them and let them cook on the other side and I'll be back yes honey look what God sent aren't they beautiful beautiful this was the first time that I did them. They did crack open on me and they were a little lighter. But you know, it's the first time for everything as long as you improve. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to see more creations like these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in to the next video. Peace. Hey,